Howdy folks, welcome to Plumbing with Tim. Today we're on location in Palm Bay, Florida. We're gonna go in and we're gonna inspect this toilet that we just pulled out. It's got a broken flange. I'm gonna show you how I go about replacing it. Let's go. What do we got here? Ooh, look at that. Flange is broken. See that? This whole piece has got to come out. I'm not putting a repair flange on there. I've got to break this whole piece out of here. Safety glasses every time when you're doing this. I'm right, going to put a rag down in this hole so we don't lose anything down into the sewer. Uh, people got different ways of doing this. This is how I go about doing it, so hang on. ring off there. Time to get the rest of that out of there. Nice and easy, you don't want to break the pipe. There we go. Pieces are coming out nice and easy. You want to break that pipe. Nice and cleaned out because we took our time. No damage to the inside of that pipe. A little bit of cleaning up, get them parts out of there and glue our new one in. Prime it up real good. Get all that old glue and stuff out of there. Four by three PVC flange. Prime that up as well. All right, so before we glue this down into the hole, we want to make sure our little slots are lined up properly for our bolts to go in before we uh, set the toilet down on there. We're going to apply glue to this ring and the inside of that pipe. I'm going to set it and uh, I'm going to have to let that glue set up for at least 10 minutes before we put any pressure on it. Okay, let's get this glue. Oh, it's getting crap. Everything's giving me problems today. All right, glue. PVC glue. Get this lined up where we want it. In the hole. Right about 
there. Hold on to it. <clears throat> Don't let it pull itself back out. Just like that. Ah, oh, nice new flame sitting in there. You see how these little slots are lined up just right for the new toilet to go down in. So, next thing we do is let that glue set up, put our bolts on there, and then our wax seal, and then we can drop the new toilet into place. Just like that. That's pretty. That's so how I replace a 4x3 PVC toilet flange. Now, as you can all see, there are so many different types of flanges, offsets, uh, cast iron repairs, insets, oversets. Uh, so the video you just watched is not an end-all, fix-all for all types of flanges. It was actually a 3x4, which means it can fit over a 3-inch pipe or inside of a 4-inch pipe. So that's what this video is about today, so be mindful. That's all the time we got for this one. Thanks for watching. If you got any comments or questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Remember, not every toilet flange is alike. We will show you other repairs on another video. Thanks so much. Next time, it's been Plumbing with Tim. Keep plumbing.